Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the upcoming week of Muck content. Sunday, typically the, um, the video on the schedule for today. Now, we do have football today. Final week, week 17, for the playoffs, which typically leads to a lot of Muck content now. January is a weird month. It's post December, which is supposed to be the best, you know, best content. January sometimes has the best content, and some of the highest YouTube interest that we have all year, because January is typically some of the best promos as well. Although people sometimes forget about that, but we have a lot coming up in the schedules that I want to show you guys today. A lot of stuff to go over. We have pl plenty of stuff, plenty of great cards. And the thing with this year is though, they really went high in overall. So I have a few theories here now. I'll get into all that in just a second before we get into the video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, comment down below, like the video, and of course, if you need coins, head on over to my reserve. Use code Poodle for 30% off. I don't know how long the holiday discounts will keep going on for, so make sure you take advantage of them before they do uh, do pass. You're gonna miss out on the discount. But like I was saying, the thing with my theory here is so this is the thing. Last year, the highest overall we received from the Christmas promo, I believe, was 96 overalls. So considering it was 96 overall last year. We ended up going into the month of January with 96 as being our highest piece. So then we went to Team of the Year and a few other promos. We ended up being able to get 96 overalls and 97s and then powered up 98s. Now this year around, just Ghost of Madden's alone, we have 96 overalls already. So we have powered up 96s. Last year we had powered up 96s. Now we have powered up 96 97s. So we're already one overall head. Not to mention that we're basically getting about, there's a good chance we'll have 98 overalls in the week. So we're already a step ahead. So the thing is, Team of the Year typically drops their top players like Aaron Donald and Russell Wilson last year. They typically drop those players at a 97 overall. Instead, we already have 97 overalls with Legends as well. I'm starting to think that though this week or this Team of the Year might actually hit 99. Or at least 90. I get, well, 98, right? They start, they start at 97, then go to 98, which would mean powered up 99. You can see, these players alone right here, are 96s, which means that their boss, uh, their older LTDs are 97s. So if Team of the Year follows the same format, they would drop 96 specialists, 97 good players, and then 98 as their best, which would mean the 98 can be powered up. So it could take a, it could take a weird turn for overall. And then we still have the playoff promo as well, but I'm going to go into everything. I'm going to take you guys over to uh, Mudhead to show you guys some of the content you, um, I'm expecting, and then I'll come back and I'll format it. But let's go for the playoff promo. The playoff promo, like I, I went over this yesterday a bit. It's gonna be it's gonna be pretty self-explanatory. You get pretty much players from each team that made the playoffs. They did expand the wild card to one more um, team this year. They got rid of the bye, but they expanded one more team to the wild card. So we're gonna expect more players. Last year, I think we got like 12 heroes, and then we got two masters. Probably this year we'll probably get 14 heroes and then two masters as well. Now again, the master sets one for the NFC, one for the AFC, and then a hero per team. Typically. The way the heroes are going to be picked are pretty, are pretty easy. It's going to be the players that perform the best during the regular season on that team that don't have upgrades already, right? So let's say let's say for the Packers right now, Aaron Rodgers performed the best. Well, he won't get the card because he just got a the 50 card, so they'll go to the next best player. They go down the list, so it's like Levante Adams. Maybe Levante Adams got a card. Okay, we'll get rid of Aaron Jones. And then for the Saints, they might think, oh, Kamara needs one. Kamara's got a card, so I'll give it to Drew Brees. Drew Brees didn't really play too much. Maybe, you know, Taysom Hill. Taysom Hill already got a card. Michael Thomas was hurt. Before you know it, it's Cameron Jordan. That's pretty much how they're going to end up picking these cards. Should be pretty self-explanatory. But if we get it just like last year, I imagine this year we'll get 96 heroes. If we get 96 heroes, we'll have pretty much 14 usable new meta cards. Well, not meta, but 14 usable cards that could fit the meta, depending on the stats they get given. And then, of course, we'll get some lower cards for teams. So every team's going to have a set. So we're going to get, like, for theme teams, playoff promo is probably one of the best promos of the year. Theme teams is definitely one of them. Because you're pretty much going to get 5 plus usable players per team. Because even if it's like a 93 overall uh, Shaq Griffin, cornerback, he has 94 speed. You put him on a theme team, you can get him up to like a 99 speed, you can get him up to everything. And that overall is useful enough. Because remember, theme teams aren't going to have all 95 overalls. They're going to be starting 80s and you know high 80s, low 90s. So you're going to get a mid 90 that can get uh, you know chemmed up, powered up potentially, and still get up all the way. So theme teams are going to really take a big boost from this. Especially if your theme team made the playoffs. If they didn't, kind of out of luck on that one. But, of course, you can find some players like Drew Brees who could fit into a Chargers or, you know, a few guys like Marshall Lynch who could fit into a Raiders or Bills. Uh, Travis Kelsey's just Chiefs. Stephon Gilmore, you can find the Bills as well. 
and so on and so forth. So you may be able to find some that you know play out of uh, the team as well. So you could have some luck there. There's a lot of players in general. But that pretty much covers up the playoff promo. Then following the playoff promo, we do have the team of the week wrap up. So remember, team of the weeks I believe was 15, 16, 17, or 14, 15, 16, 17. I don't remember if it was three or four. But yeah, those team of the week weeks are going to be bundled into one big week. So we're going to pretty much get four master sets. Uh, like a bunch of here. We're going to get a ton of Team of the Week content. So last year they did the same thing. That's when we got the Michael Gallup. We got the Mark Andrews. We got the Austin Eckler, I believe. We got the Deion Jones. We got Joe Mixon. We got Fred Warner. Saquon Barkley. I believe we got almost all We got almost all these in one huge drop. Now what's weird though, now it's Saquon, is that I actually remember using him and he was like a really good back. So I'm confused now. As to why it seems as though he was part of the bundle, the bundle of players. That's weird. But yeah, most of these players did come at one big time. It might have been the final two, maybe just the final two weeks then, because I actually do remember Saquon Barkley. Unless they revealed him, we just didn't get him yet. I'm not entirely sure, but we're gonna get them all bundled up. So expect a few LTDs. Expect a, at least. I mean, they bundled up a lot this year. I think it's at least three LTDs, and then probably like six to eight mass uh, heroes, and then. A lot of lower pieces. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll cut out the lower pieces, not only give us a few for the last few weeks and like kind of pick the best ones of the bunch. I'm not entirely sure because, again, at the end of the day, it's not going to hurt us too much. They pretty much cut the content, right? Because even if they give us weeks 14 or weeks 15, team of the weeks, the overalls are going to match that week. So we're going to be getting 92, 93 for lucky 94 overall players. So not really going to be usable, guys. The only usable one would be team of the week 17, probably. Probably the only usable one. But that's not going to last too long. Team of the week, it's, just, it's pretty much just like a courtesy drop. Because they couldn't drop during the holidays. Because at the end of the day, Team of the Week's not what you're going to be focusing on. You're going to be focusing on the playoff promo. And then what we'll drops literally right after this Team of the Week drop. Because Oh, and they probably also drop Team of the Week makeup token solos. So make sure you check those out in case you missed any weeks. Not makeup like you can make up the whole year's worth. But makeup you can make up like a week or two or even three worth. So make sure you're checking that out. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the Team of the Week aspect. Like I said, it's going to drop quickly. And it's going to be that's going to be the end of it. And then Team of the Week will be done. And then we're going to get into Team of the Year. Now, Team of the Year could be at the end of this week. Could be at the beginning of next week. I'm just dropping it now so you have an idea of the upcoming content schedule. So, Team of the Week last year dropped on January 14th. I was actually away at that exact time, so I kind of missed out on it. But this year, I should be good to go. And it did come out the 14th. And again, this year has been a bit it's been a bit ahead of everything. So, there's a chance a week from today is going to be the 10th. So, there is a chance that we could be seeing about the 10th or 11th as well. So, I'm just dropping just in case. Or at least at that point, we might have even a reveal. But, Team of the Year... Team of the Year is pretty much a, a compilation of all the best players of the year in the NFL and Madden that pretty much don't have cards ready, right? Because that's it's very rarely they end up doing double up. The only time Team of the Year's get double ups is if they also win an award, right? So, like Michael Thomas won like whatever it was. Michael Thomas won whatever award he won last year. Michael Thomas won the award and they already given him a Team of the Year, so they gave him like an easy power up option. That's the only time they double up. Other than that, like I said, there's a similar to how the playoffs promo is gonna work. So I can see who's the best quarter. It's by position too. Every position gets a player. So who's the best quarterback of the year? Patrick Mahomes. He just got a Christmas card. Too high. Who was the next best quarterback of the year? Let's just say right, Deshaun Watson. He just got a card. His card's kind of high. We'll, we'll think about it. And it was not the Watson. Lamar Jackson didn't have the greatest year, but he did just get another card for a Christmas. We'll pass on him. And then that keeps going on the list. And then he gets to Russell Wilson. It's like okay. Russell Wilson, actually, his last car was only Halloween. It's definitely been a while. Russell Wilson gets it again, right? Um, wide receiver is going to be the same same format. Cornerbacks are going to do for They're going to go down the list for every position. Sometimes it's players that they think they, they we need. Some of them are surprising, too. Some players you never even expect. Like linemen. Like linemen, you just never know what linemen. Because it depends on who's got what. Linemen just kind of get all thrown around. Zach Martin's typically a staple in this promo. Uh, Michael Thomas is going to be different this year. And so is Kittle. That's going to be different because, of course, Michael Thomas was hurt most of the year. And Kittle was hurt most of the year as well. So we probably won't be seeing them as well. And then, of course, the way this um, works is pretty much we get specialists. So we get, like, kickers, punters. We get, like, uh, returners, sub-linebackers, sub-cornerbacks, slot corners. We get all of that, um, punt returners. And then once we're done with that, then we get the regular players, like backup halfback Nick Chubb, the secondary receivers, McCall Hardman. Well, I, was, I think that was a kicker turner card. Then we get, like, um, secondary receivers, Michael Thomas. And then we get to the top. The 97s are going to be the top two players in the whole thing. Which I said that might be 98s this year. So again, it could be Aaron Donald again because his last card was Halloween. So I could see that happening again. There's a few staples here. As far as running back goes, running back could be running backs gonna be weird this year. It could be Dalvin Cook, James Robinson. Low key could be in this as well, but it could be Dalvin Cook, James Robinson, uh, Derrick Henry probably won't because he just got one. 
there's a lot of options for who they can take at this year specifically. Uh, Tyree Kill, if he didn't just get a car. Well, Tyree Kill actually could get a 97 overall. I can see him getting a 97 overall. He had a great year. The Chiefs cars got to, you know, they're going to get some love in this thing. As well as his last car was the 94 Blitz. So 97, a 97 endgame Tyree Kill isn't out of, uh, out, out of the out of the scenario here, but pretty much wraps up the video. The way this will all work out, it's gonna be it's gonna be team of the year sets. You're gonna be you're gonna be able to get the free team of the year player through playing solos and another free team of the year player by putting in your team of the week tokens. So it's two team two team of the year players. Typically, one's auctionable, one's not. There'll be cool sets, cool solos, cool somewhat cold in card art, and then of course, like I said, then we're gonna have the team of the week and the playoff promo. So we're gonna have a pretty good week. I remember last year, like January was probably one of my best months on YouTube in general just because of how much stuff we were getting. Probably won't top Christmas this year, but it's still a fun promo. Team of the Year is definitely fun. And the beauty of Team of the Year is that it's mostly endgame cards, right? At Christmas is like, you get Kamara, you get these guys, they're great, but they're only great until Team of the Year. Team of the Year, you get Aaron Donald 97, or let's say this year, 98 Aaron Donald. You power him up and keep him up, he's 99 overall now. That's endgame. You really don't have to replace him with a 99 overall because you have one. There are better 99 overalls, but the way this game plays with thresholds and everything, he's going to play very similar. Like I said, I do have a theory that they're going to be doing 100 overall stats this year. And my theory of that simple is just that last year, our first 99 wasn't until the Super Bowl. We got the Super Bowl MVP Mahomes. And that was the first 99 for a while. For quite a long time before we got 99 overall Ultimate Legends back, I think like in March. So, if it took up to March, but meanwhile, Team of the Year, we might have 99s. Because if it's already one overall ahead of this, it could end up being a 98 powered up 99. And our first base 99, would I technically that counts, or the powered up 99 is a base 99. But our first base 99 probably will be the MVP of the league, which would be late January or February. So we're already a month or two ahead. So I think for them to, if they want to, if they care about the longevity of this game, they're probably, especially because it's the first year with next gen, they're probably going to do 100 overall stats like they used to do, like Aaron Donald with, you know, 103 power move. And will it do anything? Maybe not. But it'll look cool and it'll force people to keep banging and buying cards and getting better. That's about it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you enjoyed the channel, subscribe, turn the notification bell, like the video, comment down below. And of course, if you need coins, pick up any of these cards or get prepared for any of these promos, head over to my reserve down below. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off. Thank you for watching. I'm out.